A hundred meters or so east along Baker Street, I noticed many pedestrians wearing white caps. I actually came to a Muslim community where the Great Mosque of Lhasa is located. It's said the mosque was built during the Kangxi Dynasty more than 300 years ago. It retains the architectural style of East China's Jiangnan region during the Ming and Qing dynasties. What is it like inside? Let's go in and find out. Today's Friday, also known as the Islamic Juma, during which congregational prayers are held. Muslim men are required to attend the prayers unless they have other duties. Women are given the option to attend. For me, I can only watch from afar because According to relevant regulations, non-Muslims are allowed to visit mosques, but they are not allowed to interfere with Muslims' activities. Besides, visitors are not allowed to participate in Islamic religious activities. But I had the honor of meeting Imam Yagu of the no. Lhasa Great Mosque. After religious activities, he showed me around the mosque and explained the major characteristics of the Tibetan Muslims. Tianyuanzi 第三点就是生活习俗，包括我们吃的、喝的，这个平时这个生活用品，都是那个藏式的那种，吃的那个扎巴、喝的酥油茶，然后这个我们这个家里的摆设全是藏式。According to the white paper released in 2023, Xizang currently has around 12,000 Tibetan Muslims. All religions coexist in harmony, just like Islamic Lhasa Great Mosque and Buddhist Jokang Temple, Yaku said. We are in the Lhasa Qingdeng Dasse, which is the Great Bidding farewell to Imam Yagu, I was about to leave Lhasa. This old highland city embraces diverse cultures, religions, and ethnicities. I believe I will come here again. <laughs>